Welcome back to the channel guys. We're heading to Wales for four days. We've done about 120 miles, we've got about another 100 to go. And we're going to head into the mountains in Wales. Stay tuned. Not far to go now guys, 26 miles and Wales never ceases to impress, beautiful scenery. So we arrived, one of our favourite spots in Wales, next to this great reservoir and it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful, so quiet, peaceful. So we're going to do a night here, relax, we've done quite a bit of driving today. We went in, in a little Welsh town earlier and had a look around an old bric-a-brac store which was quite good. And Mrs. Bushwhacker bought me. What did you buy me? What? From that bric a brac store. Here's Mrs. B. Look, displaying the new Bushwhacker Overland hat. Thanks, Moses. Cheers, Moses. What did you buy me from that bric a brac store? Oh, Jeremiah Johnson. Jeremiah Johnson. Mrs. B thinks I'm quite like Jeremiah Johnson. So. We might watch that one of these nights if it's, I think Saturday's going to be really bad weather so we might tuck in and watch Jeremiah Johnson or something. But this is a great place. We've been here before but we've never explored down the road. So first night here and then tomorrow we're going to do about five or six miles and look for another spot. But a lovely drive again. So you're getting to see you know, last trip was a bit of Devon, and this trip's a uh, little section of, of South Wales. So, getting a bit of an idea of the country, especially if you're from, from a different country yourselves. But definitely Wales, Wales is gorgeous. I think all, all the different parts of the UK offer something special, but this is definitely, definitely very special. And I like it here because you can just, you know, all that road driving, motorway driving, and you just pull up here and it, you just totally detox. It's great. And in the week, me and the good lady, we've been busy, tidied up the van a bit more, got a bit of carpet in there, put a few carpet tiles, and we boarded the the back out so we could sit back in comfort. So it's looking very, um, what's the word, von Schwe? Bon shui. Bon shui. Well, I think the carpet's just giving it the finishing touches inside. You staying downstairs or upstairs I don't tonight? Know yet. Yeah, I'll see. see. Cold, if, it, if it's really cold, I might come up with you. Oh, if it's really cold, you'll come up with me. Yeah. Oh, not really cold. You'll stay downstairs. Well, and that. <laughs> <laughs> but this is where the Land Rover should be, I think. But there's a couple of nice little mountain trails around here. But another time I come, I'd probably bring my Fox Inflatable because I'm dying to get on that reservoir. It's nice to get away again. Not that I don't get away a lot, but the more you, the more you get away, the more you want to get away. But it's so much to look at. It's beautiful and the sun's shining as well. Nice cup of brew. Gorgeous. A little bit of a nip in the air, but it's not not too bad with that sun, is it? No, we're going for a walk. Yeah, have a smooch around this bit. We get a bit familiar with this bit, and then we'll, we'll be off tomorrow. I don't think we're we'll off too early. Just uh, 
have a nice light breakfast, a few cereals and then slow pack up and then and we push out. As they say, wagons who Johnson. <laughs> I think I'll be Jeremiah for these four days. What does he actually do then? Mountain man. And what better place to watch the movie? I'll be Jeremiah well, for four. Brave art would have been better. Nah. No. Jeremiah Johnson, mountain man. Great view tonight. Jeremiah Johnson. <laughs> I'll leave that like that, I'll stop that flapping around. What a view. <whistles> you bring my dinner up, Angel, I might retire to the tent. Yeah, right. You got a long wait. What we got? Soup. Soup. Is that mountain man food then? Yeah. <laughs> do ran on about this tent but it's impressive that allows us tomorrow just to pack this up 20-30 seconds and move on to another camp spot oh, gorgeous what a spot for the alu cab easy as one two three that Hit me, Mrs. B. Oh. Oh. How are you? You had a lay in. Oh, I got up three times. Hey. <laughs> it snowed, yeah. You wouldn't think it was May. Morning. Good old nice cup of coffee in the morning. It was a rough one last night. It's amazing you're at home, it's quite warm and you come out to areas like this. We had the, the wind picked up, it rained and then it froze. So if you didn't come out with the right 
gear and equipment, it would have been uh, been curtains. I think it was. It's quite cold. And I got up three times last night. Once in the wind, and then in the wind and the rain, and then got up, and I can believe it was all froze in May. So never underestimate camping in the mountains. Oh, what a morning though! Defrosting now. Yeah, like a lump it's lovely, of meat. isn't it? <laughs> like a lump of meat left out on the worktop after taken out from the freezer. <laughs> and May as well, unbelievable. But what a view, eh? That's the thing with the looking out, isn't it? It's forever changing the landscape. Although the mountains stay the same, they look so different, don't they? Yeah. Mountain man. <laughs> Packed up, we're moving off to the cap spot too. Suck in a little bit tonight in the mountains. Snowballs in May.
we just moved from the spot over there so we were, the wind's picking up a little bit so we've moved over this corner it's a lot more sheltered it's quite relaxing it's getting hammered a little bit over there so this is ideal I love in this slate so building a just little, little fire pit area or we'll chop some wood earlier as well so have a bit of a cook up later this is a great spot we've been on a walk as well chicken on there. Cooked over the Otago in the mountains. and crispy. Mm. Right. Nice meal, nice location. Another couple of months of this, we've settled in. Lovely meal that was. We're gonna chill out, sit around the fire. I think it's gonna be another cold one as well tonight. So it'll be an icy truck in the morning, I think. Hot water bottles tonight. Mrs. B's promised us. Hot water bottles. I think we're gonna need one. I wonder if we get any snow. Yeah, it may do. We're higher as well, higher than, than last night and uh, maybe a little bit more exposed but now we've tucked in it's going to add a little bit of uh, less wind chill isn't it? Uh, it's great sitting around the Petromax, the Tago. Wood's a bit of a premium around here, There's more rock than wood. It's such a great fire pit this, just keeps everything off the ground, it's nice and cool, it's a real safe, safe way to have a fire outside, especially when things start drying out like round here, you ain't got to worry about the grass going up or catching a forest fire, and the thing I like about it, you can turn it, turn the heat up or down with that lever, so you want a bit more airflow underneath. Like that. That's just ticking over now for me and Mrs. B. That's great with the charcoals. We've cooked over the charcoals and then I've put the wood on. Just to keep us warm as the, the sun goes down. I like the way you can just pick it up and move it as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. If the wind changes direction or you're not happy in the spot that you've got it, let's pick that up. That's been on quite a while and I could still pick that up with a glove on. It's not roasting. All stainless steel as well, so it, it won't rust. So if you're interested in one of these, go with a Petromax. They're not they're not cheap, but they're they're well worth it. You can see, you know, if you go back through my videos, I'm using it all the time now. Comes it's, everywhere with this, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's one of my uh, favourite pieces of kit in the Land Rover, and it really holds the heat. It's great for cooking on, and 
if you look back you can see you can get a FT6 Dutch oven that sits in there as well so you can do Dutch oven cooking and grilling perfect for jacket potatoes and all that's something else we didn't bring was yeah. it jackets a jacket potato in there so it really really holds the heat and it's really well insulated as well and that's been on how long has that been on a couple of hours yeah you can get a pizza lid for it and yeah all, pizzas grilling frying baking dutch oven cooking nothing it can't do is there and it keeps you warm it's yeah, quite inviting it. now that sun's going down isn't it this is our outside heat source great way to spend the evening wherever you are with a nice fire you just can't beat it it's perfect a compliment to the Land Rover and something so nice cooking outside so what a way to finish the day watching a bird of prey soaring in the sky and the flames dancing in the Otago perfect don't forget guys important tip if you're ever trying to start a fire the easiest way well as he's been going a couple of hours but if you're thinking of starting a fire always pick someone else's charred wood up and get a fire going it's so easy because the, the coals will ignite really well so always look for an old fire pit with an old piece of charred wood in it and that'll be your basis to start a, a good fire so just a little tip I'd share with you Jeremiah. Thanks, Dave. So that's it, guys. End of our second day. Just sitting in the landy, chilling out. Got the back door open. It's going to be a cold one again. Be retiring to bed shortly. So a grand day today. Enjoy the peace and tranquility. Listen to that.
Good night, guys. We will see you in the morning. Good morning, brand new day, and a nice light breakfast, crunchy nut cornflakes, and my lovely tabletop. We're on the road again. Our third, gonna find our third camp spot. We wanna get quite a sheltered spot tonight because the weather's gonna change. It's gonna be heavy rain tomorrow and tonight. So get somewhere nice, maybe somewhere we can tie a bit of tarp off the back. So onwards and upwards. We parked up now at about a four hour drive and we've landed up in this area which is quite nice. It's the main pull off of a 
a little mountain road so we're going to stay here it's quite nicely sheltered and we've got a nice little stream running through but the Land Rover's been really comfortable really great really enjoy driving it down these little mountain roads it's a great thing with this vehicle you can camp in it and you can get down all the all the narrow roads and we've done a little bit of off-roading as well so it's a real great exploring machine you can see why they, they use the Land Rover to go uh, here there and, there and everywhere we've had an amazing time so we'll probably stay put now we'll see how we feel in the morning but I know it's gonna be really bad weather so we might just might just hunker down here tomorrow and I've got to watch that DVD Mrs B got me go on big fella So we drove around today and we found that spot earlier but it just got a bit busy for us so we've tailed round again and uh, done a loop and we've landed back up in our spot that we really like so we're back here I think it'll be fine here for the uh, for the wet weather as well but you don't realise you, you've got a really nice spot until you until you actually leave and try somewhere else it was just too um, too busy really and we was we was tucked tucked off a like a little mountain road but it was still <laughs> still too busy for us especially when you come to a place like this it just spoils you so hey ho we're back in our second night spot so we made the decision about an hour ago and and left and just set up camp <laughs> so we've done a round trip today which has been nice it's been a day out really and then mrs b round trip today is that again we've done a bit of a round trip today yeah. <laughs> but it's the thing if you if you like quiet places and you do find one you get spoiled and you try somewhere else and um you know it doesn't doesn't match your criteria what you're looking for you tend not to settle so well but this place definitely uh, definitely ticks all the boxes for us so we're gonna stay stay here for the duration now stay here tomorrow when it's raining maybe watch that movie like I said and um, maybe go on a walk or something put on our wet weather gear and we'll be sorted so it doesn't take a long to whack it all back up. I suppose it'll be dark in about an hour, so we ain't done bad. But we had a good day out today. Where's that top, Dean, in there? Yeah, top's in there. Is it nice to be uh, back home as such? Yeah, lovely, <laughs> isn't it? Can't beat this spot. Yeah, you like this. So Mrs B is going to make a little bit of a makeshift tarp off the side. We definitely need an awning for wet weather. We're preparing it now before it hammers down. I think it's coming in tonight. All day rain. We've been spoilt though with the Welsh weather. Morning guys, it's a rough one, it's all changed, the wind come in about one o'clock this morning and then the rains, so it's been constantly raining, so we're huddled down in here. Last night I had one of them like shiwi things, so that that come in really handy, I can't say enough about them. Not shiwi. <laughs> yeah, the shiwi, <laughs> I call it a shiwi, or well, a hiwi, but that, that was a great piece of kit, I was thinking, oh, thank you. God, I took that upstairs last night. They're getting out in these uh, these conditions. 
So it's really changed, but it's really nice being able to get into the Land Rover. Brilliant. But uh, when it when it rains in Wales, it rains. I think it's in for the whole day, isn't it? Yeah, I reckon. So Mrs B woke me up with a coffee and she's got the bacon on. You've been up a bit longer than me today, haven't you? Yeah. So she's, uh, she's managing the fault. As you can see, it's nothing like yesterday. Driving rain, it is eased a little bit. They reckon it's going to ease tonight, don't they? Yeah. Early hours. So we might get the ponchos on later and go for a walk, stretch our legs. But it's lovely in here. Smell of bacon and the warmth. Gorgeous. A little bit of uh, clearance. That's a good tool to have in here, except for doing it every five minutes. Just gives you that visibility. No outdoor fire today, I don't think. Won't be cooking outside. No. <laughs> Are we sitting down in the landy? Watching a bit of Jeremiah Johnson. Man after my own heart. I'll do it's It's come out around this side so you're out that wind. Go on, Mrs. B. <laughs> Finally stopped raining. 28 hours of rain. And my opinion of that tent has gone through the roof. 28 hours of wind and rain hammering on that and it's been bulletproof. I've had some great sleep up there. It's starting to clear. We're gonna pack up and we're gonna head home great time. We was pretty much hunkered down in the landy yesterday. So pleased we've done the back out. We can just get in there and uh, just ride this storm out. We watched a bit of the Jeremiah Johnson as you see. Great film that if you're interested in a real mountain man. Although you watch me so you don't really need to watch Jeremiah Johnson. Mrs. B said of there's quite a few similarities between me and him, so it's all good. So we have a slow pack up, trying to get bits and pieces outside to dry them off. We had our ponchos on, so drying them off and socks and bits and pieces. But next time I think I'll come here, bring me waterproof trousers so we can stay out longer in the rain. But our bottom, bottom of our trousers were soaked. All in all, great trip.